that is the Petty... Hey everybody, Curtis here with another pedal demo for you. This time it is the Petty John Electronics uh, overdrive pedal called the Petty Drive. It is a studio grade dual channel analog overdrive pedal. I'm going to be using my MJT Esquire with Porter pickups, Emerson wiring, going into my Milkman Sound 20 watt creamer amplifier, mic'd with a Sennheiser E906, and here is my clean tone. <laughs> And we will start with the chime channel one of the petty drive. <laughs> So what we have here from Petty John Electronics in the Petty Drive is a really, really high quality studio grade uh, overdrive pedal. It has two fully independent channels, um, saturated American iron side for tons of growl and girth, and then the harmonic harmonically rich uh, British-like chime from the chime side. So the chime side is this side, which is channel one, and the iron side is over here, which is channel two. Um, the switches in the middle, let's just forget they're there for a minute. I just want to explain the knobs first. So we have a tonal control for the chime side, which is a tilt EQ. So as we go to the right, it's brighter. As we go to the left, it's darker. With this side, we also have an output and a uh, gain level right here. Um, the amount of dirt that is dialed in with the chime side. It's a light overdrive, um, low gain drive kind of boost side. And then we also have um, on this side, we have a the gain control, we have the output control. We have a different kind of a tonal control. This is a high cut type tonal control. So um, as we start here, all of our high end, as we roll off, it rolls off our high end. So a little bit of a different kind of tonal control for the iron side. Um, the iron side also has this knob right here, which currently is a clean mix knob. So you can blend in your uh, clean mix. So clean signal um, back to the output, essentially, and um, very, very cool. There's a switch up here. You can switch that out. So that then becomes a parallel mix level knob, um, which enables you to put in a loop, um, and it bypasses the OD section. So it feeds the loop with a clean, clean signal. I'll explain and show that a little bit lately. What are these little switches? Well, in the middle, we have a... Um, order toggle, a flip-flop order. So right now, as it's to the right-hand side, the chime side of the overdrive comes first in the circuit, and then it goes to the iron side. If we flip it this way, it goes to the iron side first, and then goes to the chime side and out. So uh, very, very cool to have that option. Um, up here, we have different clipping switches. So um, there is soft clipping in the up position of both of them. The middle position is an LED clipping, and the down position on either of these is a hard clipping. Down here, these two switches are kind of like uh, low end or low cut um, mini toggles, and so the up position has a, a you know a moderate amount of low end. The middle position has the least, and the bottom position has the most. So uh, very cool to have those options controlling the low end of the circuit, not just the high cut or the tilt EQ. So now that you fully understand all of that, because it's a massive mouthful, um, really, I just want to look at a three knob overdrive to start. We're going to look at the chime side of the pedal. So again, tone, volume, and drive. And uh, I'll just set you here clean. <laughs>
So that is the chime side of the pedal. As you can tell, it has a more uh, really, really bright kind of sound, kind of that British uh, chime-like harmonically rich tone. Um, let's look at the left-hand side of this pedal, the iron side, and um, this is kind of designed to be a bit of a go-to, kind of an overdrive tone. <laughs> So that is the iron side in its basis. We have a gain, an output, and a high cut uh, type of tone control. And then these are both um, tone, uh, sorry, low end uh, cut for each side of the pedal. There's one here for this side and one here for this side. Now, to uh, do something a little bit different, what they've done with this pedal is they've given you the ability to blend your clean back in. So this is full overdrive. As we back it off, it blends your clean signal uh, back into the circuit. So what I want to do is just let you listen to that. <laughs> Um, only works on the iron side of the pedal. So you could hear as we brought that back in, back in it brought a lot of uh, clarity and definition uh, to the notes, but it still had the um, kind of underlying, really beautiful overdriven tone, um, really kind of rich, saturated sound to it. So it's a really unique kind of feature because it's blending back in the clean. Um, this happens sort of post uh, the drive circuit in these pedals. So um, the other thing that is really, really neat about this pedal, so there's a switch on the back here, and when that's in the up position, this is a clean mix knob. When it's in the down position, it activates a loop. So I have connected another uh, pedal in the circuit, and I've chosen this reverb because it also has some delay tones in it uh, from Red Panda. And um, so when this is in the down position, it activates whatever pedals you put in uh, this loop up here. So very, very cool. And then you blend them in with this uh, parallel mix level knob is what it becomes when you have that switch in the down position. So I'm just going to let you hear uh, the clean tone a little bit here quickly. And then if we just listen to the iron side. <laughs> So
so as you can hear right there there was no uh, context uh, reverb I've dialed in a plate reverb blended in but if we move it over here then you will start to hear the reverb and it's is really really cool because it's blended into it's uh, the cl the loop is clean and it happens and is blended in after the overdrive part of the pedal so <laughs> So as you could hear, uh, that reverb is there, um, and that's because we blended it in with this parallel um, knob right here, uh, mix level knob. So what I want to do now is I want to change to a delay just so you can hear a different effect, and you could actually have multiple, multiple different pedals in this loop, uh, boost, EQ pedals, delays, modulation pedals, and just have a really, really uh, fun time just kind of tweaking out. <laughs> So very cool to be able to blend uh, that um, in. When the switch is in the up position, this is just a clean mix knob. So we'll just bring in a little bit of the cleans there. We're going to move the reverb pedal aside. Uh, the Petty John uh, Electronics Petty Drive is designed to go with the Petty John Pre Drive, which is another pedal they make, um, and it's designed to go at the beginning of your effects chain. And um, it's kind of designed. Part of it is designed to be an always on. The other part a boost, and it is a fantastic pedal in its own right. And what I want to do now is kind of pair these two pedals together. So I have the the Pre Drive off to the side, and I'm just going to turn on uh, the always on side of it. Um, and I'll just let you hear. Uh, here is uh, clean. <laughs> So what I want to let you listen to now is I want to let you listen to the chime side on its on its own with just the pre-drive on. Then I'm going to turn on the iron side, have them both on with the pre-drive, um, but then I'm going to hit the second switch on the pre-drive pedal, which will give us a bit of a boost. And this will cover all and any territory you will probably ever need to cover within overdrive heaven. So here is clean. <laughs> So there you have it, everybody. The Petty John Petty Drive pedal uh, paired with the Petty John Pre Drive there at the end. Thank you so much for watching. Like if you like, dislike if you absolutely have to. Please subscribe to my channel if you can. I do appreciate all the likes and comments and views, and I hope you have a great day.